Hello, drafting students. Today, we're going to talk about auxiliary views. We'll be using a standard or an 18 inch by 12 inch piece of paper with the border around your title box in the bottom right. I'm going to be using AutoCAD to create this drawing, but you should be able to also do it by hand manual drafting. What is an auxiliary view? If you're familiar with orthographic projection, what happens with auxiliary view is I could project from this line, from this piece right here up to see the top view. You see the holes, so the dotted lines with the center lines coming through. Now, if I was to project this angle over such, over this way, what happens is the object's not gonna be its true length. That would only be one and 121 over one two eighths of an inch. When actually it's two and, a, two and an eighth plus five eighths, so that would be foreshortened. So you need auxiliary views when you have angles, okay? So we're gonna run through that process step by step. I'll erase this, sorry. I'm gonna begin with the angled view. Going to rotate this over 135 degrees. The width of the object is three inches. Please reference the drawing I give you. Yes, with AutoCAD, I have the luxury of moving stuff quickly. So you might have to plan it out a little bit better when you're doing it manually. That was two and one eighth of an inch. Now let me locate the center. That's a center line. So that's to the center of the circle right here. All circles on this drawing, all holes on this drawing will be a half an inch. And all fillets will be five eighths of an inch. So a radius of five eighths of an inch. So if you started out with that, you're in good shape. Um, you could actually start with a circle and start building off of that. From behind the circle, one and an eighth is the centers of the next lines. I'm gonna tell you, this is not the easiest drawing to complete. It's not even easy to really make it look simple, <laughs> but I'll do my best. Seven eighth this way, seven eighth that way. Let me show you some dimensions fast. These aren't permanent dimensions, but so you get an idea. Five eighths, seven eighths, seven eighths, five eighths. Let me move them over so you can see. Again, these are just quick dimensions so you get an idea about what's going on here. What you could do is copy this or redraw it. Again, this will be a half inch diameter and this will be a 5 eighths radius. All the holes are half inch and all the fillets will be five eighths. Let 
gonna cut these in half. You can erase them using if you're drawing by hand. Now the trick to getting a nice arc to fill in here, a nice tangent arc, is to add the number of the two arcs that it's it's coming to. So what does that mean? So five eighths plus five eighths is what you're going to have to add up and that's going to equal one and a quarter so that's five eighths that right there this is five eighths so one and a quarter away from both of these centers is where i'm going to find the center point for the arc coming back so if i do a radius 1.25 From that center and from this center, this intersection right here, where these two intersected, if I do a five eighths, it's gonna it's gonna connect to this and this arc, this arc and this arc nicely. Let me uh, let me just isolate those. Turn these off for a second, try to make this as easy as possible for everybody to see. So this is where the center point will be, and I'm going to come back with a 5 eighths. And you can see how that touched tangently, nice and smooth off of those two curves. Yes, anybody who's watching and knows AutoCAD says there's a lot easier ways to do that. I'm trying to show you using manual drafting how to complete this. All right, so same process. We want a curve that comes over here and connects to this. So from the center of this circle, 1.25 of an inch. Let me just color these a different color so you can see what I'm talking about. So the black lines are the finished objects and the red is just a temporary to find the center. Even if I trim them down, you can see maybe better what I'm talking about. So that's one and a quarter from the center of that circle. And it will also be one and a quarter from the center of this circle. So where those two crossed, I'm gonna draw a five-eighths arc. I like to just draw a full circle and then erase it. Sorry. Five-eighths, there you go. So from the center right here, you got a 5 eighths radius. Let me trim it or erase it. There you go. A little complicated, please rewind it a couple times if you need to. You can always pause and rewind and that's what's nice about these videos. Now let me do a little cleanup work here. Cut that to that. Cut that to that. When you do an auxiliary view, there'll be a break mark. The break mark simply comes off a little bit further from the object. There's no particular size. I'm gonna start there and then you just draw a wavy line. Nothing too crazy, but something like that works beautifully. Then trim out these ends, like such. So that's the finished object so far. I suggest doing this one first. It's going to help you establish stuff.
what we could do is project from this object to here and the end of the object right there. It's the thickness of the angle shape is half inch. So I'm going to copy this line a half an inch. And right at this intersection is where this clip starts this way. Put that right on there. And copy this line down a half an inch. People are always concerned with that this doesn't line up with this. That's not going to happen. You have to match it, project it from this and that. This is going to naturally happen where it wants to happen. And this has to be half an inch. This has to be a half an inch here. And this has to be a half an inch here. Oops. Need the aligned dimension. There you go, half an inch there. Erase these so everybody's not to keep it clean for a second, make it easy for you. So once we have that, we can project from this point straight up. And if you want to, you can project from the side of this and from the side of this. Now there's going to be a nice spot where they create uh, connect and where they connect is Sorry about that. If you know about AutoCAD, it doesn't like to put angles onto construction lines. There you go. All right. So 45 degrees. So what's half 45 degrees, 22 and a half. D for copy, negative 22.5, there you go. So this is where these can meet, kind of like your 45 degree line when you do an orthographic projection. Now the distance from the edge of the object is two and three quarters. That's where the object will end. And we said all fillets are five eighths. So I'm going to use the fillet command. Curve this. And curve that. Check that line down. It's looking good. So now I can put half inch diameter circle there, a half inch diameter circle there. Just like we did before, we're going to extend this out a little bit. Make the same length on both sides. And do again another break. Nothing too wild, and it doesn't have to match that one exactly. These are just break marks to show that this object keeps on going on. You want to make sure you show the circles here. So I'm going to project down. Use my hidden lines. Just hidden lines in there. And then, of course, in the center, make this a center line type.
There's another circle, one in the eighth way, right down the middle. What I can do is find the middle, go this way. One in the eighth way, and just got draw another circle there. Make sure this also comes through. When you have a sweeping motion like this, there really is no point. Some people will draw them in there, but I don't believe that. So it's just gonna look flat on the side. But we will need to see where these holes are pushing through. And if you saw my other video, my friend Al always helps me. Al stands for a line, very useful tool. Then these are the center points right here for this one. It was actually a little bit better than I had thought. This is the really the finished product. No need to dimension this one. Don't even put these. That would be the finished product, right? Did I miss anything? Great. Please leave comments. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and tune in soon. Keep on drafting.